Hello and welcome to my video. In this video, I will go over the problem analysis coding execution cycle. So the first thing that we need when we want to write a program is we have to have a problem. And here we have an example problem, such as we want to add two numbers together. We then need to analyze that problem. So an analysis of this problem of adding two numbers together would be that we could prompt the user and get two numbers from the user. And to do that, we're gonna need IO stream. And this IO stream library will be a dependency that our program will be dependent on. Once we have these two numbers, we can then add the numbers together. And after that, we will need to give a result back to the user. So to do that, we must first design an algorithm. And an algorithm is just a step-by-step -step problem solving process where a solution to a problem is a arrived at infinite time. It is not the solution to a problem, but it is the steps to come to the solution of a problem. Such as for our example problem, we have the algorithm that we need to prompt for and read in num1. We also need to prompt for and read in for num2. We then can add num1 to num2 and then output the result to the screen. Once we have an algorithm, we can code that algorithm. Here we have that algorithm coded. We have our num1 and num2. We are going to output that we need a number entered and then read in a number. Output again that we need a number and read in the second number. We can then add those two numbers together and store them into main memory. And lastly, we will output our results to the user and then quit the program. To do that, we had to use some preprocessor directives, and these allow for us to use code that is already written for us, also called libraries. Right here, this include IO stream is our preprocessor directive for this program. That is how we include this IO stream library to allow us to do C out and C in. And generally, you can use that syntax for any library using the include keyword. Well, you're going to put the pound symbol followed by include, and then you'll have these brackets, which you put the library name inside just like we did right here with the include IO stream. And this library can be any C++ library. The program then needs to be compiled from a high level language down to machine language. And to do that in C++, we simply use G++ and the name of the program. This program.cpp, the name program will change depending on what you name your program. But when we compile, we can also get some compilation errors. And if we have compilation errors, that will tell us that we have syntax errors. And syntax errors are specifically fixed by going back to the coding stage and say you forgot a semicolon, you may have to re-add a semicolon, or if you forgot to declare a variable before you used it, you would have to go and declare that variable. So you will fix any compiler errors back here in the coding stage. You then need to link, load, and execute the program. The linker is going to, if you remember, we have our preprocessor directives used with this include keyword. Well, we need to link those libraries into the program so we have the code to run. So that is what the linker is going to do. We then have the loader, which is going to load the executable file into main memory. And once it has been loaded into main memory, the program can be executed on the processor. And if there are any execution errors, those would be semantic errors. And there are three stages where you can fix semantic errors. You may have to reanalyze your problem. You may have not quite understood the problem correctly. So at that point, you would have to reanalyze it. You may have messed up in your algorithm design. So you may have to tweak the design of your algorithm. Or you may have messed up somewhere in your coding and not coded your algorithm correctly. So you may have to fix that coding here. It's syntactically correct, but it's not semantically correct in your coding. And that is all I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.